Okay, day 51 is in the books. Crime Mount Tommy, but hey, you've already seen Mount Tommy. I did it with Christopher Warren way back when. So since it's taper week and I'm kind of tapering things back a bit because the race is on Saturday and Sunday, only a couple days away, I need to show you some new content. So Jasper's going to do a recap of everything that I've kind of learned through his coaching abilities of being on the bike. And trust me, I started out like wobbly and felt like the bike was too high for me, fell over a couple times, you know, it, yeah, I, I looked like a rookie. Uh, I don't really look like a rookie anymore. But that being said, oh yeah, don't forget, Comment, like, and subscribe. I got a whole lot more videos coming out. A whole lot more videos coming out. So I want to hear your feedback. What do you like about the last videos? What do you like about the up and coming videos? Well, actually, no. What do you want to see in the up and coming videos? So then that way you could like them. Yeah. So if you want to follow along the journey, red button says subscribe, hit it, and then hit the bell. Ding. Yeah. Okay. Have a great Monday. Hey Jesse, three days out buddy. I'm so excited for you. It's awesome. You got 72 hours until your big event. I can't believe that it's already been eight weeks since we first connected and we got you on a program. Just as a recap, the first thing we did was establish who you are, both as a person and a cyclist. Uh, we had you fill out those forms to see like what your level of cycling was, what your experience was, what equipment you had, all that good stuff. And then probably the most important thing is we established where you're actually trying to get to. So we set a little goal. And I know you had that in place already with the Ride to Conquer Cancer. So that was a pretty easy target to hit. And then it was a matter of just getting down to business. The meat and potatoes of a training program. The day in, day out, repetitive nature of a training program. And you did an awesome job. So good. We challenged you in different ways through the week. So we had hill workouts to sort of work on your upper end uh, to make you really work hard. Even though I know the Ride to Conquer Cancer is flat, we still had you doing lots of hill work just to drive the intensity up and keep it real honest. Uh, we had you doing progressively longer rides every week so that mentally you knew you could handle it, but also physically we knew that your body would adapt to be able to handle uh, that length of a ride. Because the ride you have coming up is, is no easy task. You get a couple of back-to-back -back days, about 100K each. Uh, so that's a lot of time in the saddle. I wanted you to know mentally that you could get through this thing. And then we just kind of hit it on repeat there. You know, we'd, we'd stress you for a couple of weeks and then we'd give you a little bit of an easier week to recover and adapt and let your fitness really come up to a new level. And we just repeated that process. And what was great is that you really bought in. You jumped in with both feet. Uh, you really committed and you were super consistent. And consistency really is the key to the training program. And you've noted in the last couple of weeks, I think you've really noticed how much you've improved, how comfortable you feel on the bike, how much fitter you feel. You, you mentioned uh, today that you, you know, went and did observatory reps, which is a great hill here. And you're like, I did three reps and it felt amazing. Well, that's fitness. That is the result of consistent, deliberate training towards a target. And I think you really feel that. So Jesse, I think you're going to have no problem this weekend. I'm really excited for you. Uh, we've spent the last week offloading uh, any real deep fatigue that you'll have. We sort of dial the program back a little bit. We taper you a little bit going into this thing. Now you just got to trust that, you know, go there, celebrate this, this start line. That's what uh, all the hard work is for. You know, if you have a little bit of nerves, that's okay. Nervousness is not a bad thing. Um, it just means you're excited. It just means you care. Um, but really the goal is just to go out there, have a great time, show the fitness that you've worked so hard to get, uh, and really enjoy the experience. Good luck, Jesse.